Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Breaking news. The cover-up starts. Only 10 boys were kidnapped by bandits. Not 333 or 600 or 800 as the claim by Kanu State Government. Garuba Shehu. My people, in Castina State, something very drastic happened. Yes? Boys in school, boarding house, on uh, Friday nights, we're in school. At about 9.30 p.m., the bandits came and carried all of them in lorries and took them away. Up until now, we don't know about the whereabouts of those boys. Yesterday, we saw Castina women went out, you know, asking for their children. Uh, federal government sent delegates. Guess what? Buhari was nowhere to be found. And the people were very distraught. The North said, where is Buhari? How come he cannot come here? Guess what? <laughs> you know Garuba Shewu, the spokesman for Muhammad Buhari, has said, uh, why are people very uh, behaving as if it's more than that? It's only, three, it's only 10 boys that we are uh, kidnapped, that we are taken by bandits. This is what they do. The cover-up has started. Nigerians, <laughs> wake up. Oh, this government has nothing. Nothing whatsoever to offer. It's just government of mouth covering their tracks and trying to cover this man in the iron mask, so to say. They don't want us to know what exactly is going on in government. How come Muhammad Buhari cannot come out and speak about what is happening in government? Garuba Shewu is still the one speaking. Let's get all the details. Only 10 boys were kidnapped by bandits, not 333 students, as claimed by Kanu State Governor Garuba Shewu. According to reports by Punch, the presidency has disagreed with Castina State Governor Bello over the number of boys. Can you imagine? The presidency is disagreeing. Are they there? Are they in the state? They are saying, no, it's not true. The presidency is disagreeing. Let's continue. Presidency has disagreed with Castina State Governor Bello over the number of boys adopted from the Government Science Secondary School, Kanakuri, Castina State. The governor of Castina State, Amil, had on Sunday said about 333 students are missing following the bandit attack on the Government Science Secondary School in Kanakuri in the early hours of Saturday morning. The governor said this when he received a federal dele government delegation led by the National Secretary Advisor Baba Ghana in Castina State. According to him, the government is yet to be contacted by any group or persons responsible for the kidnap of those boys, the students. However, the, spin, the senior special assistant to President Muhammadu Buhari on presidency, Garuba Shewu, told BBC that only 10 boys were with the bandits. Can you imagine this government? These are people's children, sons. These are number of boys. And besides, it's not even 333 as, as said by the governor. It's not 333. It's about 600 to 800. The school does not have the number of boys missing. Let's continue. Spokesman of the president, Malam Garuba Shewu, told BBC, only two, 10 boys were, were, remain, were remaining in the hand of the, uh, the bandits, according to the college. It's not true who escaped from the gunmen. The number is below the figure recorded by the school authority at the beginning. Garuba Shewu said the school children who escaped said 10 of their friends were still with the adopters. You know, this is what Nigerian government do. The cover-up has started. The cover-up, I tell you, has started already. Garuba Shewu was interviewed by BBC. Why not the president of the country? Why not the presidency? Why, you know, Garuba Shewu, if Garuba Shewu speak in this nation, his presidency. He's not a minister. He's not a senator. He's not the vice president. He's not the president. He's not a governor. But him himself, and Femi Adeshino, and Laye Mohammed. Laye Mohammed is like a governor, like every other governor. But when these three persons, please note it, speaks, they call it presidency has spoken. He went to BBC and told them that the governor of uh, Castina State was lying. That only 10 boys, that in fact the boys, they escaped. 
Up until now, my people, I must tell you the truth. None of the boys has been heard of. None of them has been seen. We don't know what has happened to them. We don't know where they have carried them to. We don't know the unsold suffering that these boys, these children are going through right now as we speak. These are people's children. These are people's sons. These are people's children going through this untold torture and hardship. And Nigerian government is saying nothing is happening. Wake up, oh, my people, wake up. There is a conspiracy theory going on in this country. And until we all realize and come to the truth of the matter that this government of, of, of Buhari has nothing good to offer. Can you imagine the lies? Can you just imagine the lies? BBC interviewed, asking what is going on. He said, no, nothing is happening, no. The people are just raising unnecessary dust. There is nothing particular going on. It's only 10 boys. Only 10 boys? Do you have a child of your own? Do you understand what it means? You said it's only 10 boys. My people, this is the true state of the reality of what is on ground. I can tell you, Buhari went ahead receiving entourage as if nothing is happening, as if children are not being looked for. You see, until the North wake up and eh, realize, come out of their hiding and stop deceiving themselves and stop telling the, the world, stop telling the South that the South is their problem. I am afraid this is going nowhere in any, in any time soon. I'm sorry, but it is what it is. It is the truth. How can you go to BBC and lie? Eh? When we could have gotten help. They don't even want international help to come, by the way. They don't want them to come. Because if they come, and they really come to do a thorough investigation, some people will be uncovered, of which they are not ready to uncover their tracks. The people committing this and making and fueling and making sure, say, do the boys this. Do the, up till now, nobody has heard from anybody. Nobody has heard from anybody, from the boys. From, nobody has heard a single word, just to let you know. 600, and, 600 to 800 boys went to school. Nigerian government says nobody is missing. That in fact is only 10. And you say this government wants you. Some people will stand and say, yes, uh, Buhari is doing well. He's working for the government. Please go and investigate them. They are thieves and robbers. They are part of those who are the evil atrocities, who are committing evil atrocity in this nation. How can you say, you go to BBT and say only 10 boys we are missing? We're talking about, even the governor still made it mouth, said it's 333. They don't even know the number of the, of the pupils that are missing currently. I tell you sincerely. The school says 600 to 800 boys that are missing. Parents came and could not find their children. Parents came and could not find their children. Up until now, Buhari still had breakfast this morning. He's still comfortable. He's still moving about as if nothing has happened. Nigerians, uh, you are in for a shock, oh. This government does not mean well for you. You are in for a serious shock. Wake up. It is a government who has nothing to offer the people. Leave us a comment. God bless you. Bye for now.